Video doorbell pioneer Ring is coming into your car. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Ring, part of Amazon, is product specialist Neil Kayubyub. Hi, Neil. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to see you. And the car cam from Ring is on the way. And it's a different kind of dash cam. Give us the overview here. Yeah, so uh, like you mentioned, it is um, different than your normal dash cam. It's really um, a Ring security camera that's been reimagined for the car. So uh, this is what it looks like. Um, okay, there we go. Um, so this is the form factor. And the way it's set up is this bottom part right here would just appear, uh, sorry, would just go in between your windshield and your dashboard, right? And then if you notice, there's like this oval part right here. Um, this is like, there's some adhesive there and that would just stick um, onto your, that would attach to your windshield, right? So the camera, the, as you can see, there's dual facing cameras. So this is the road facing camera and this is a cabin facing camera right there. Um, and they both record both when your camera, sorry, when your car is in motion um, or when your car is turned off and parked. Um, when your car is parked, the car cam will actually use its motion sensors uh, to detect certain events around and inside your vehicle. So certain events such as like um, someone were to like tap on your car or someone is like trying to open your car door, um, you know, you'll receive a real-time alert to the Ring app. Um, and then from there, uh, just like any of our Ring security cameras, you can go into live view, um, and then you can use the car cams built in microphone and speaker to talk with anyone directly uh, from the ring app. Um, so there's a couple other features uh, I want to mention, but like, did you have any questions on the basic features right now? No, keep going. I mean, you've got your, you've got me really intrigued here. Tell me more. <laughs> So there, uh, on the inside uh, or the cabin facing camera, there's also a privacy cover. So you can actually just flip it up from the bottom there. Um, so if you're driving and you know you don't want the camera to record while you're singing along to your like favorite song, um, you just flip up the privacy cover and that'll actually disable video and audio re recording. Um, another unique feature to the car cam is something called traffic stop. Um, and a great use case for this is, uh, let's say you got pulled over or, let, or you even got into a fender bender and you wanted to record that interaction between you and the other driver while you exchange information. Uh, when your car is parked, uh, simply say Alexa record to record the interaction. And are there other Alexa interactions uh, available? Uh, yeah, it's a great question. Yeah, it's a great question. So there is there is no um, integration with Alexa right now. Alexa is simply the wake word we use uh, to um, for the traffic stop um, recording to begin. So this is recording what's going on outside the car, inside the car. Um, people are going to say, well, okay, well, how is it powered? Is it going to work when the car is turned off? Yeah, it's a great question. So um, uh, on the stem here essentially you would uh there is a, a cable that you would connect from here all the way down to your obd2 port so there's um we actually even give you a tool to help you kind of tuck the cable in between the dashboard and the windshield and like i said you'll run the cable all the way down to the obd2 port um and essentially by doing that it allows the camera to remain powered at all times so even if the car is turned off um it'll just remain when the camera is not detecting any um, activity or motion um it'll remain in a low power mode and then turn itself back on when again you know something uh, you know when it de detects any type of um interaction with the car essentially any shenanigans That's <laughs> right <laughs> that's a good word for it <laughs> So is it, it's not going to, you're saying it's a low enough power mode, so it's not going to drain the batteries that uh, I'm going to get yeah, that I mean, click, click, click when I try to start it. Uh, so yeah, it's safely designed to like safely draw power from your battery. But for whatever reason, if the you know, car cam is drawing too much power, it'll just automatically shut itself. So tell me about the the how there's there's some more components to this that we need to touch on. Where does the video go? How do I access it? Is it stored uh, locally? Yeah, so the video will store locally onto the car cam itself. And then when you get when your car is within your home Wi Fi, it'll upload to our cloud. Um, however, if you wanted to be able to access your video on the go, uh, like let's say you're at a restaurant and you wanted to be able to show 
uh, you know, that clip of you singing in the car to your friend, um, you, there is an optional Ring Protect Go subscription, um, and that's available for $6 a month or $60 a year. Uh, with that, you get continuous uploads to the cloud. You can review cloud highlights. You can go into live view, um, access two-way talk, and, um, and, uh, and get those motion alerts, even when you're away from home Wi-Fi. So you could check on your car if you're, you know, in that restaurant or in a shopping center, maybe on the beach, you can check up on your car? Yeah, absolutely. Like a great example, like when I was at CES, um, you know, my car was parked in the airport parking garage. Um, and because I had the Protecto subscription, you know, from the CES um, show floor, I can check in, make sure that my car is still doing okay and, you know, nothing's going crazy while I'm away. Very, very interesting. So tell us about the availability and, and pricing. Yeah, so right now it's uh, the Car Camel retail for $249.99. Um, it is available for a limited time for $199.99 through pre-orders on ring.com and uh, amazon.com. Um, and that limited price is only available till January 31st. Um, it's currently only available in the US and you know we're really just gonna monitor the customer reaction and feedback here before we decide to expand it internationally. Very cool. So again, that's the Ring Car Cam, simple name. You also have brought back another device that you had on the market and then I guess uh, was pulled off for a while. Tell me about it. Yeah, so uh, it was the Ring Peephole Cam. Um, and uh, I personally love it because I have it. Uh, but essentially what it is, is that it brings the utility and helpfulness of our video doorbells to um, apartments or condos, um, you know, renters or um, homeowners that have like strict HOA restrictions uh, with just really simple, easy installation um, by just using your existing peephole. So all you do is you unscrew your peephole and we actually give you the tool in the box to, um, to do that. So there's no additional tools required. Um, and then you just insert the peephole cam in its place. Um, and it's very similar to a lot of our other video doorbells. It has 1080p HD video, night vision, uh, two-way talk and motion detection. Um, a great feature with the peephole cam um, is that you can create privacy zones. So for example, for me, like if you were to look out my peephole cam, the door across from me, um, you know, I can draw a privacy zone there. So that way my camera is not looking into my neighbor's apartment when they enter or exit. So, um, and there's also um, on the inside of the peephole cam, um, there's also a privacy cover that I can slide up. Um, so that way it'll block people on the outside from looking in through that peephole. Um, and it detects if people knock on the door too? Yep, absolutely. So there is a built-in um, um, impact sensor on the uh, doorbell itself. So if somebody were to knock on the door or just tap on your door, or physically interact with your door, um, it'll trigger a mobile alert just like it would like if motion was detected essentially through the ring app. Um, so you'll always know what's happening in your front door at any time. So how is it powered? Uh, yeah, so it's powered by the normal quick release battery pack that we have on all of our video doorbells. Um, on the inside of the peephole cam, you just remove the cover and then the battery just slides out. Uh, for me, I just like to recommend having a second battery pack charging inside your home. So when the app tells you it's time to charge, you just simply swap them out and you have no downtime. Terrific. And that is available when and for how much? Uh, it's currently available now on ring.com and amazon.com for $129.99. So $130 for that. Again, the regular price for the car cam is going to be $250. And uh, if people act quick before the 31st, they can get it for $50 off roughly? Yep, exactly. And it ships when? Uh, it'll ship, uh, good question, <laughs> Forgot to mention that it'll ship uh, February 15th. February 15th. That's the Ring Car Cam. Great stuff. For more info, where should people go? Uh, just go to our website, ring.com, and you'll see um, all, you'll learn, you'll be able to learn more about our Car Cam and our entire suite of security products. Great innovation there, as always, from Ring. Neil Kayabyab, thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for having me.